So every month, basically, for my games, um, the players will they'll do whatever they're going to do for the game that day, and it's going to end at kind of a cliffhanger point, and we'll just pick up the next game where that last game left off. So the current game picks up in sort of um, a slightly mountainous forest itself. <laughs> So once I drop something, here. Gaming, uh, the uh, uh, games themselves, the the social atmosphere, uh, chance to kind of unwind with like-minded people. I think it was like 10 or 11 when I started getting interested in games like this. Yeah, my sister, my older sister used to run a game, so. What game was that? It was a Dungeons & Dragons, one of the very, very early Dungeons & Dragons games, so. I usually played magic types, I think it was like a wizard or something like that, of course. You know, when you're a kid, you're like, I want to be a wizard. White magic? Black magic? Oh, I think it was wizards there. I mean, you, by definition, you were supposed to play good characters, so. I mean, it was kind of a good character, yeah. So I guess white magic, you can call it there, if anything. So who do you like better, villains or heroes? Ooh, that's a hard question. In the genre, I mean, I, I mean, I think these are always designed that you generally play the good characters. But I mean, I think if you look at just like the genres, I mean, I like villains simply because they tend to be more complex characters, you know, with more kind of going on behind them. But I think nowadays you'll notice they, they take heroes now and they're making heroes a lot more complex. They're not just you know perfectly you know goody two shoes or anything. So. Oh boy, probably 20, 25 years ago. Uh, my brother found some first edition books and said, hey, this looks like fun. So myself, a couple of my brothers and some cousins said, hey, let's try it out. Um, it's fun to create the characters. It's fun to just like role play. Okay? It's, fun to, it's fun to like roll the dice and see if you survive or not. Um, oh gosh, how do you describe it? Role-playing games are just kind of an opportunity to, you know, play make-believe, like when we were kids. So, you know, when we got up and you were, you know, you know you, someone played the Indian and, the, you know, the uh, cowboy and all that kind of stuff, when you played superheroes as a kid, basically it's the same thing for adults, you know, and it, it basically, there, there's a system that has mechanics behind it, you know, dice rolls and points and all that kind of stuff. But really it's an opportunity to make, make believe and tell a story with your friends. So. Best way I can describe it, it is, um, it's a form of cooperative storytelling and improvisational theater uh, where you have a, a role that you define in your mind. You gather with a, a group of people who have other roles that they've defined and then uh, a third party uh, acts as kind of the director who knows the story and reveals it to you in bits and pieces uh, as you interact and play along. Oh yeah, and something else that was working with the spider scorpion thing that pulls people apart was this um, vampiric looking elf creature. Now elves aren't popular in this part of the land, they haven't been seen in a really long time, so I cut off the head and worked with the barbarians to preserve it so that we could take to somebody else who's knowledgeable. Um, they call it the big hole. Oh yeah, they, they, they call it, you know, they're barbarians. But it's in the cold part, and they're in the cold part. They're barbarians, please preserve it. So, uh, so, so, yeah, that's, uh, so they said they were building a pretty good restaurant. We're heading to the big hole. 